Casper Mattresses built a $1.1 billion company, then crashed and burned. Here's why. So, in 2014, there's these five friends in New York, and they're like, has anybody ever sold a mattress online? No? Okay, let's do that. And investors are like, nobody's ever gonna buy a mattress online. Get the out. Naturally, the five friends decide to go all in on their mattress idea. They're racking up tons of credit card debt funding the thing themselves when they finally convince Target, Canada Goose, Nas, and Ashton Kutcher to invest in them. I mean, the idea was amazing. King size mattress in a box, shipped to your house, try it for 100 days, if you hate it, return it, no questions asked. And they blew up and went public. But there was a problem. See, when Casper was private, so were their financials. And when they became public, people started to realize how shitty a direct-to-consumer company could be. In order to survive on the internet, Casper had to reinvest almost all of their profits in Facebook ads. And as more companies entered the market, the price of ads increased. So, well, they went private again, and now they're worth 250 million bucks.